quick shot there, and it's off target. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. It's Anthony with the drive. Good D by Jordan. That was a layup, and you've got to knock that down. You've got to convert when you get those opportunities. Wasted no time on that one. 26 points for the franchise. Had so much space there, and the defense really not showing him the respect. You can see his eyes get wide. Hardaway kicks to Anthony. Shot on the wing, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. Paul kicks to James, goes up from the top of the key, and D'Alembert pulls it down. You know, when the shot's not there for you, you've just got to recognize it and move the ball on. Yeah, I think he had tunnel vision right there. His only thought was to shoot it, no matter what else was going on. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this guy's too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. Calderon with it. Chris Paul covering. They double him with James. Outside Hardaway. Let's the three fly. The dish now to Calderon. He feeds it to Hardaway to the wing right side. Some nice passing by New York here. D'Alembert passes to Anthony. Calderon has the open look on the three off target. Clippers leading by nine. The drive by James. Stoudemire with a defensive effort. New York's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. And Anthony with the basket on the assist from Hardaway. 22 points for Carmelo Anthony. Kevin, he's in a bright spot in what's otherwise been a little bit of a struggle for this team. Let's take a look now at some of the numbers for Carmelo Anthony. Fifth in scoring. And in terms of rebounding, he's in the top 20 in the league. So a guy who can really take care of the boards for you. And, you know, going back to a spot near the very top of the scoring list, I mean, he's come up with so many different ways to beat you at the offensive end of the floor. He's almost unguardable. Here's James. Knicks with the rebound. Anthony's got rebound number eight now on the night. Holderone dishes to Stoudemire. Anthony right side. Watch shots, a stat that sometimes doesn't tell the whole story. Big time shot blockers aren't always elite defenders. And then the opposite is true. Their block shot totals don't quite capture that great impact they really have defensively. And I think when you look at Hakeem Olajuwon, I mean, the numbers show that he was a phenomenal defensive player. 3,830 career blocks, two-time defensive player of the year. I think you put him alongside greats like Bill Russell. Uh, who played before the blocks were actually recorded, of course, but you put Olajuwon up near Russell in terms of maybe greatest interior defenders of all time. had some words for his team over that last break. He told the team he wanted their offense to run through Carmelo Anthony. Coach stressed the importance of
On defense, the Clippers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. He kicks to Hardaway. Alderaan has the open look. No good off the back of the rim. He has not been on his game, and, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. James against Hardaway. James kicks to Jordan. Back to James. Six to shoot. And they call over the back here. Too much contact. Well, that's an aggressive play, trying to get that rebound. Maybe a little too aggressive. And it was totally unnecessary, Steve. He was in no position to get to that ball. He should have just conceded. A different look for New York. Omer he's checked in for Dallenberg. And J.R. Smith subbed in for Stoudemire. Kicks it to Hardaway. Passes it to Calderon. Outside Anthony. Outside Hardaway. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, even from here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Clippers. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And they're also really getting out in transition and scoring some hoops in the fast break tonight. And James gets it to go. For three. And here's Calderon. He's got five. Into Smith. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard and look at the NBA's best rebounding teams for this last month. Number five, the Knicks. I like how this team has been coming up big lately, Kevin. They seem to have a new dedication and energy to rebounding the ball, and it's paying off. Checking out the game J.R. Smith is having. He has eight points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. Now, a lot of times, he's one of those players who can get hot and stay hot. from the three-point line, so I look for him to continue to search for shots out there. Anthony, the pass to Larkin. The pass to Smith. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. You look at Chicago. They're looking extremely sharp right now, poised for the top spot and playing very well. And, of course, New York, just way behind. Well, right now for the Knicks, they've just sort of hung around. I mean, they're not among the elite teams, but they're not that far off the pace either. No, I think they're satisfied, Clark, with uh, where they are right now because uh, they're in decent position, uh, you know, as, as they move forward. And this is all about uh, just surviving the marathon in the NBA. Such a long season. And he ends up missing both free throws. Clippers leading by nine. It's deflected. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Well, that pass had just a little bit too much heat on it for him to make a clean steal. Yeah, I think it would have been a tough catch for either of them. They had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. For New York, they've gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Anthony with it. And came and picks him up defensively. And Asha kicks to early. Now, here's Reddick. He's got five. From deep, James, and another three for the Clippers. They're in the position they're in right now, thanks in no small part to the show that he's putting on in this period. Here's Smith. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top, but instead he'll shoot free throws. It's on Spencer Hawes. Yeah, that's Shooting smart basketball. More. You foul yeah. and you send a very poor free throw shooter to the line. Yeah, I think that's just smart. I mean, especially the way he's been throwing it down. Make him earn it at the strike. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for Jordan Farmer. Clippers leading by 12. 
Reddick dishes to James. And there's the feed to Reddick. They get it again. Here's Kamen. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. He shot two free throws in the game, made one, and missed one. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. New York's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third, still 0 for 3. Larkin kicks to early. New York moving the ball around. Dishes to Carmelo. And Anthony gets double teamed. Just five on the clock. That's a two from Smith. Misses off the left iron. I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. From deep, James. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. And that's a foul. Call in Spencer Hawks. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. At the line for two. Throw good, Ashik. And so Ashik nails both of them. Los Angeles leading by 11. Reddick passes to James. The shot, no good. Anthony with the defensive effort. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. I'll tell you, the defense was right there, just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. Here's Hawes. Hits the front of the rim and out. And for the Knicks, they're shooting a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. Outside Anthony. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. L.A.'s gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. And finished off by Kamen. Well, Clark, a clear lane to the basket and the emphatic jam. And that is outstanding attacking basketball. Well, he had no choice but to take that one to the bucket. There's the pick. Shot off the pick. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Larkin. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot off. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. James with the bucket. The three-point shot has been a real weapon for them in the second half. Yeah, they sure have gotten hot from out there. Into Smith. That's tipped. James outside. And the James. Clippers getting another bucket right there. He's been working some magic out there today, guys. This lead has been largely his making. Here's Larkin. Right now averaging five points a game. Early kicks to Anthony. Good as the jump shot falls. Anthony's got 12 points now in the quarter. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Reddick dishes to James. There's 18 seconds left to play here in the third. Pass to Reddick. Six to shoot. He lobs up the alley-oop pass, and James throws it down. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Smith drives in. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. Tonight, he's gone three of six from the line. Well, his free throw numbers this year are below 70%. So when he's getting to the line, he has not been effective. You know, his performance at the foul line this season might be the first thing he points to as a priority to improve. Here's Paul. Can't hit. 